Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be starting up a new series for a game called Survival Fountain of Youth. I have played this in the past. I think I only did about six videos, though, and this is now coming out for release. It, its release will be April 19th, which will be tomorrow. I think I'm putting this up the 18th, so that'll be tomorrow. And thank you to the developers for sending me a key. Let's go ahead and start a new game. And, yep, we're going to overwrite. No problem. Uh, skip tutorial. No uh, max number of faints. I'm not sure what faints are. All I know is the faints lower your... I guess it's like a death. Yeah, it's kind of like a death. I'm not sure what max... I guess, like, that might be, like, if you faint once, the game's over. So I'm going to leave that on unlimited. Now, this difficulty can be on normal, easy, very easy, whatever. Um, I'm going to play on normal because I always like to play these games on normal. But I'm going to tell you right now, like, in my experience with this game, this is super duper hardcore. You would not be... You'd, it wouldn't be insane to maybe put it on easy, but I'm going to I'm going to play it normal. So let's get started. Basically, the idea is we're coming to this island to look for the Fountain of Youth. And I've just gotten woken up out of a sleep for some kind of morning assembly type thing. Uh, if you want to read anything, uh, I've already read all the stuff in the game. So if you want to read anything, just go ahead and pause the video and read it. I, I just want to like, you know, I don't want to sit there reading stuff all day. Like to get this uh, let's play moving. All right, so we need to go to the bow of the ship. All right, yeah, I will do that. Oh, that's right. I got to get out of here. I'm not. I thought I was on top of the ship. I'm not. I'm in. I'm in like the, the hull. I'm. I'm in the <laughs> the bottom of the ship. So, I'm gonna come over here, and over here we are going to learn to fight, which will be awesome. And okay, you can use block by pressing right mouse button, uh, right before the enemy attacks. So you gotta do it like right before like I was holding it down hoping that that would work in my test game But yeah, you got to do it right before you'll kind of put your arm up All right, so you kind of put your arm up, but it, you only have your arm up for like a second So you got to do it at the right time, which is pretty cool It's uh, like just holding block is interesting, but like having to time it kind of enjoy that You can also block attacks with a with blocking hit to use it charge the power uh, and hit the enemy Okay, so hold down left mouse button All right and then wait for him to come in, and boom. Do it again, and boom. How you like me now? Can you block while this is charged? Oh, you can. Does it stay charged? I don't think it does. I think blocking breaks the charge. Yeah, it does. Okay, interesting. So now we gotta take the map. Captain's map. And we need to go to the captain's cabin. Am I the captain? I don't feel like the captain. <laughs> I feel like if I was the captain's cabin. I, the captain, I would have been sleeping in the captain's cabin. So. Alright, so we got in here. We need to get the steel and flint, which is right here. That will allow us to light this thing up. I know it's a little dark. I apologize. Can I get some guns? Can I take some guns, please? Check the expedition's logbook. There you go. Again, go ahead and pause it. And then go ahead and pause it. Uh, place the map on the map stand. Can't look at a map unless it's on a map stand, don't you know? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Oh, I don't like this. Doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And I'm no, like, boat guy, but it doesn't look good. Just gonna throw that out there. All right, get up. Take the grotto plans. Okay, got that. It's telling me to go. It's gonna tell me to go find that that cave. I think once I get on the island. Now here's the problem we have. I can only take two items. Now I'm definitely gonna take the backpack. All right. I've also I got the navy coat. Uh, protect me from bad weather and animal attacks. So it's defense and weather. I've got the iron flint, which will help me get fires going. I've got the fishing pole, which wasn't in the game before, uh, or maybe it was. Actually, I think it was. Um, Catch fish, iron spear, defend, iron axe, which is probably what I want to take. Chop down trees and also good for protection. Iron knife is for harvesting from plants and also weapon for protection. Um, food kit survival, um, firearm kit again uh, against animals and hunting on the island, and medicine kit for protection against illness and restoring. I think I'm just gonna take the axe. I I know I know it's probably the wrong thing to take. You guys can let me know in the comments how awful of a decision that was. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. Kind of figure it out. Oh, here we go. And here we are. Current weather's clear. Location unlocked. There's going to be, like, surveying in the game. I remember that. You have to climb, like, a giant tree. 
and survey the area and then you knew where stuff was. It's a pretty cool mechanic. We are going to follow what the quest is telling me to do. Um, get the coconut. After I've gotten the coconut, you can see in the top left hand side, um, the sun is a problem. So I'm going to get in the shade. There we go. Craft coconut water. Crafting coconut water. Okay, cool. And then drink coconut water. Okay, so that'll give me 30 water. We have an indigestion chance. Satisfies, yep, okay, fine. There we go, and there's our stats down there. Uh, find a shell. A shell? Um, find a shell. Let me see what that says in the journal. Uh, I've seen some shells on the beach. They look edible. I should pick some. Okay. Maybe they mean this. No, those are crabs. Oh, they got little markers. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Grab that one and that one. And we'll come over here. Grab some rope. That's got to be useful. Extract the mollusk from the shell. Okay. I'll do my best. Um, blueprints. If you press F, it'll tell you the blueprints you can get. Which is a really nice mechanic. Like, you just go to the item, and you're like, what is this item for? Press F, you're good to go. Eat. All right. Eat. And eat again. Um, gather five narrow leaves. So these leaves on the ground, I think, are yellow leaves. Yeah, yellow leaves. I think I'm going to need those, too, as well. So I will grab those. By the way, don't pick up any food you're not going to eat in the immediate, like, you know, time, because... Because it will go bad. So if you press E on the on the trees, you can kind of see what you want to get. And you can take stuff. But it's going to take time. All right? And that's time out of real life. Now, you don't have to, like, sit there and wait for it. But it's time out of the real life part of the game. So, yeah, you got to, you know, be prepared for that. If something's going to take, like, two hours or something, you have to think, am I going to be safe here for the two hours it's going to take to do this? So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool build uh, game mechanic. Build a primitive bed. All right. Um, buildings. There we go. And I will place this right here. We're going to put this in the shade. All right. Now, um, interaction challenge. Um, so here, this will take 30 minutes. So place resources. Build. All right. Sleep for six hours. Um, okay. If you say so, really? What? Where's my sleep meter? Yeah, there's my... Six hours. So depending on how long you sleep, well, depending on your sleep meter, I, sleeping for six hours is a waste of time. I'm going to gather some other stuff and do some more eating and everything before I sleep because it's like I'd be sleeping for time. I, I don't need to. Leaves. So six hours. Yeah, we got some more stuff we could do. We could pick that up, pick that up. Every time, whenever you pick new stuff up, you'll get new resources. I'm sorry, um, new, um, uh, not resources, craftable stuff you can craft. I think these things give me long sticks, right? Oh, small sticks. Okay, we'll take some small sticks. I don't think I'm going to need tree bark just yet, but I guess I'll take some. All right, I just got an achievement. It worked. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think, yeah, these things are um, dates. Uh, I think I wanted to cook dates or dry dates. So I won't eat them if, unless I absolutely have to. Let's go ahead and eat stuff we do have, though. Craft... There we go. Um, do we have more? No, I only picked up one. Okay, eat that. And ripe coconut. F. I believe the ripe coconut's for food as well. Yes. All right, inventory and eat. All right, now let's see what sleeping for six hours does. Oops, it starts at eight hours. All right, so six hours is worth it at this point. Cool. Now it is nighttime. Harvest a stone. So if you press C, it'll tell you everything you got up here. Um, I guess. I've got vicinity, a little heart shield, natural recovery. Yeah, natural recovery. Okay, as long as your as long as your water and, and food are above 60, you get natural recovery. Vicinity is chance of injury. Um, I'm full of um oh sorry, not vicinity. Vivacity? Viva I know I'm butchering that word. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, lower chance of injury, which is good. And dark. Can't see while well. actions are inaccurate. Chance of injury while working. Okay, so we, yeah. All right, so you want me to harvest a stone. So where is the stone? Up here? Right, let's come up here and get some stone. 
As far as I know, you can't save scum this game. So, <laughs> yeah. And by the way, um, it, you can faint, or if you faint, it's kind of like dying. Uh, basically, you'll lose like your max health, but it's not a small amount. It's like like 40% of your max health on one faint. Kind of a uh, little bit much there, but... All right, so we're going to grab five of these. Uh, am I going to be able to carry them? Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. It shows your weight, too. That's awesome. I like that it shows your weight, so you know, hey, I'm not going to be able to carry this or, you know, whatever. Create a stone axe. Well, do I really need to do that? I already have an axe, but... Okay, let's get back to our camp. Because I don't know what's out here. Yeah, see that tree right there? That's a surveying tree. You gotta, you gotta build a rope to climb to the top of it. And once you climb to the top of it, you survey the area, and then it'll tell you everything that's in the area. Start map. Yeah, the mapping process. That's right. Um, did I go the wrong way? No, I'm over here. Well, I guess I did go the wrong way. Well, let's pick up some stuff along the way. Whoa. Cut down. I'm gonna leave that alone for now, because I'm not sure what I can do with that. I should probably also go swimming. But I'll probably do that during the day. Here we are. Alright, so let's craft the stone axe. I don't know why I came all the way back here to craft the stone axe, but I don't know. I, I wanted to. So here's the stone axe. And craft. Cool, I didn't hurt myself. Harvest a long stick. Okay. Um, Alright, before I harvest a long stick, I'm going for a swim in the water. Uh, I think I should be okay. See, this is why the bag is so important. Because you're going to be carrying a lot of stuff. Let's go take a look in the water. Uh, the weather affects your health. You've gained status that affects your condition. Um, if you get wet, it'll make you cold. Okay, got it. So, am I cold? Maybe I should not go in the water. Well, I already got wet. You know what? Going in the water is probably not a bad idea. But I should probably do it once I have a campfire. I'm already wet, I guess, but still. We'll, we'll not go in the water. I'll dry off eventually. Alright, let's come up here and get a long stick. Yeah, this game's, um, like, it's funny. It's one of the more realistic survival games out there. I mean, I would argue one of the most realistic survival games. This this might even be more, reali more realistic than Green Hell. And Green Hell is pretty realistic. I can't think of a more realistic... Well, you know, maybe um, I haven't played a lot of The Long Dark. Maybe The Long Dark is more realistic. So you see, you need an axe to cut these down, and this will tell you how much of the durability will be used from the axe, and you can use different axes. So, it takes out 15 durability no matter what, but this one's got more durability. We'll use this stone axe. Honestly, the axe probably was a bad choice, to be fair, because I can make a stone axe so easily. Just, I mean, I've already got one. But, this axe, I think, will help me for combat. If you're going to do combat, though, you might as well take the spear. The thing is, the spear had uh, crafted wooden spear. The thing is, the spear had such little uh, durability left on it. The one on the on the ship. There we go. Wooden spear. All right. Inventory. So we'll put the wooden spear on number three. Actually, oh, do I only have two unlocked? Oh, I only have two things unlocked. All right. We'll keep the axe for now. Uh, crouch and sneak to a crab. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to need this spear for the crab. All right, fair enough. Let's go. Come on, run. Run! Run like the wind! What time is it? Is there, is there a way to tell what time it is? I don't know what all this stuff is. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that's the island I'm on there. I guess there's more islands you can go to eventually. Oh, down here. That shows the time. Okay. Fair enough. Sneak to I'm pretty sure the way I kill crabs, I just ran because they can't outrun you. But whatever. I guess they're trying to teach you the sneak mechanic. Whoops. Step, crouch, and sneak to a crab. Okay, did I just... What, should I have stabbed it, or should I have thrown the spear? Oh, it does say throw the spear. Okay. You son of a biscuits. I let go of the button thinking it would throw the spear, but um, it doesn't. You gotta left-click to throw the spear. Alright, you... Damn it, he's in the grass. That's gonna make it even harder to see him. Yeah, I didn't think so. Whoa, did it go all the way over there? Wow, that went too far. <laughs> I don't know my own strength. 
All right, let's try this again. Got him. Get him. Build the campfire. Okay, I will build the campfire. Come over. Yep. No, don't throw. Okay. Campfire crafting. Um, let's see if we can find it in here. It's not under food. Tools, fire starters, um, buildings. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so we need, we need more sticks. That's weird. It didn't tell me how to get sticks. Oh, dude, it tells you how long before it respawns. Cool. 32 days, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to come over here and get some sticks. Should I just go to the cave now and build the campfire in there? That's what I'm wondering. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. I remember back in the day... Yeah, you know, if it rains, it's going to put the campfire out. I don't think you can move the campfire, so they used to be building, like, two campfires for no reason. Honestly, I probably should have built the bed in the cave as well. Oh, you know what? I think there's a... Wait, no, there's a campfire already in the cave, isn't there? All right, I'm going to stick with what the game is telling me and hope for the best. I think if I build it under a tree, maybe the rain won't affect it. Hopefully. Okay, let's see what we got here. Crafting... Um, there we go. And I'll put it as close to the tree as possible. See, I don't think this, I don't think this campfire is going to do anything on, with the rain. But I'm going to do it anyway, because that's what the game told me to do. Uh, 21% chance of injury. Because it's dark. Um, let's sleep a little bit. Oh, soaked quality of sleep. Oh my goodness. Is there anything I can actually build, build? So I know you can build house stuff now. Like, can I build this? What do I need? Yeah, I, I don't see. I don't have what I need for the, any of this stuff. Damn, that's a shame. Uh, you know what? Change. Let's just assemble. I'm gonna go to the cave. We'll just go to the cave. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. I can't do anything out here. I can't light a fire. I can't sleep right. Um, I feel like the game should tell you to go to the cave. Especially if it's going to be raining on, like, the first night. Right, so the cave will be right along the beach. And we just have to watch out for anything that would attack us. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with the spear. Although, what is the uh, damage on this? Uh, 58. Okay, never mind. I'll use the axe. Although the spear might still be better because it gives me range. I'm going to stick with the axe, though. Now, in the cave, uh, we'll have its own set of issues. Uh, I think there's, like, scorpions in the cave or something. So we got to be careful about that. But, like, right now, there's not much I can do out here in the rain. So the cave should be up here somewhere. Nah, it's around this, it's around this bend. Pretty sure. Yeah, this looks familiar. All right, what do we got in here? There we go. Cave. All right, so we got some scorpions. I don't want to waste axes on the scorpions. So let's use the spears. What the heck? There we go. Let me just pick them up. There we go. They'll respawn too, so just because you kill them all doesn't mean you're safe. Yeah, so here's a campfire. So it wants me to build a campfire. Uh, Okay. All right, I'll build another campfire, just because I want the quest to keep going. Uh, so we'll build the campfire right here. There we go, 1% chance, probably because it's dark. No, base 1% chance. It's dark in here. I'm surprised it isn't... Okay. Time speed, chance... Um, I need to ch uh, choose a place for the building. All right, got it. There we go. Craft a uh, spindle fire starter. All right then, so fire starters were right here. We'll do the spindle. Um, cook food on campfire. I guess I'll use my campfire, why not? All right, so fuel. We do not want to use long sticks for fuel. But is that the only fuel I have? Oh crap. Yeah, you really don't want to use long sticks for fuel. That's a bit of a bummer. Um, I, 
I'm gonna go out and get some wood. Wait, are th is there wood in here? Cut down, G. Um, a pile of scrap valuable resources. Sm small sticks. Yeah, that works. So now we can change to use small sticks. Add fuel. All right, and okay, so you get to choose which fire starter you want to use and if you want to use tinder. Negative um, 18 minutes. So I think negative 18 minutes means it'll it'll like start in like it'll start quicker. Chance of ignition 20%. Process 42 minutes. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. Okay. Um, injury chance. Um, yeah, the 20% is horrible, man. Like, is there a way to do that better? I don't know. I guess not. All right, whatever. Let's just give it a shot. Oh, there we go. All right, and then we're going to make some crab. And we only got one crab, right? There we go. We got some roasted crab. And that will give us 13 food. And then we're going to take this. We're going to turn this into food. And we'll eat that as well. All right. I don't see anything else for me to eat. I, I don't think you can, like, cook scorpions. Oh, I'm sick. So what kind of sickness is that? I got stomach ache. Is that from indigestion? Yeah. Mild form of indigestion. My thirst is increased. and can get worse if I'm treated. Chance of recovery, 30%. Chance of worse... We're saying 28%. Max water. We could take medicine, um, eat healthily, or eat, drink, and sleep. Chamomile juice. I forget how to make that. Let's see if I can find it. Still sick. Uh, I think if I get some leaves, I can deal with that sickness. Right now, the game wants me to harvest two wide leaves. I'm sorry. I said leaves. I meant, like, plants. So I think there's some plants out here I'm going to kind of check out. I, I kind of, you know, I think I'm going to need a knife to harvest them now that I think about it. So we'll make a stone cutter. Yeah, I think this, don't, no, um, can be used as a weapon or tool, low efficiency based. Okay. Is there anything I can make better than that? Hold on, let's just make this. And I don't see any other recipes for cutting stuff. Stone saw is not what I'm looking for. Like, I don't need it. I don't see a better knife. So maybe there's a better knife somewhere and I'm just not seeing it. I'll look like later, but I'm not seeing a better knife. But I do have a knife so I can cut plants. And the sun is becoming an issue right now. Uh, so I just got to kind of deal with that. I probably should have just came out there in the night. Let's, uh, let's come over here into the shade. And just kind of hang out a minute. Oh, does it go away completely? Huh. I thought it would like went down, but no, it's still there. It's just not getting worse. Alright, so you see these plants right here? I think these plants might be chamomile. And I could use that to get rid of the indigestion, I think. There's also going to be a little guy i got to fight here, so... Let's see if we can fight this dude. What's up, bro? Damn! One-shotted, baby! I was under the assumption you needed a knife to harvest these, but apparently not. So we're going to select all. We got sunburn. Eh. It is what it is. Select all. And select all. Okay, let's get home and see if we can do something with this. Hopefully some of this will help with the sunburn. I think you can use uh, the inside of coconuts, like the coconut oil, as sunscreen. I wish the game would let you do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. Let's just come over here and take a look at what we've got going on. So we've got sunburn. Uh, chance to get better. Yeah, the chance to get better and chance to worse are all the same. Uh, we could take tobacco compress, stay in shade. All right. I don't think we're going to be able to deal with the, um, <laughs> the sunburn. I don't know where the tobacco is. I think the stuff I just got, though, will help with the indigestion. We'll just kind of have to see. And we're just going to run back. I'm probably just going to go out at night at this point. Like, it doesn't seem like I can go out there in the day. So maybe I got to make some clothes and stuff, probably. We need to harvest wide leaves. I will do that later. Okay. Oh, what are these? Oh, puffball mushrooms. Okay. Keep a, keep an eye out when you come back in here. Oh, I, I even noticed there's a bunch of firewood on the ground right here. Keep a look when you come back in, in here, though, because there will be um there could be scorpions about. So let's take a look and see if we've learned anything as far as this stuff goes. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. I think maybe you have to cook it. Crafting. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. 
Okay, well, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep doing what the game tells me to do. Let's go get some leaves. Well, it wants me to harvest wide leaves, but I don't have to go out there to do that. I got. Oh, those are narrow leaves? These are wide leaves. Okay, cool. Craft a stemmed leaf bandage. Oh, okay. So let's do that. Stem oh, now I can do the stuff. Oh, oh, that's why you needed those leaves. To okay, I got it. Should I not do that then? I should probably make the chamomile juice, right? Isn't um, use campfire to craft. Isn't the chamomile juice take medicine for a stomach ache? Get chamomile juice. Okay. Here, let's go ahead and add some fuel. Okay. Um, I don't think you could put this out, unfortunately, so I probably shouldn't have added that much fuel, but, you know, whatever. Um, chamomile juice. All right. Wait, one, one. I, I have more than one. Why does it only allow me to make... Oh, okay. It's not telling me I have more than one. I'll just make one for now. Yeah, we need to light the fire first. Yeah, here we go. Oh, not so bad. So, crafting, craft. All right, and inventory. Wait, did I, I threw it on the ground. <laughs> uh, cures one rank of disease, chance to cure two ranks, indigestion treatment, and health regeneration. Okay, cool. I'm not sure your dog could be like... Can we, are we supposed to like be able to butcher it or something? It's weird. Oh, I see. All right, let's go ahead and cook that. Uh, nothing there. We need to get some more leaves for that. Do we have any more leaves over here? We do not. So that means in order to do the quest, I'm going to have to go ahead and get more of those wide leaves. So the wide leaves are more like banana leaves, apparently. At least that's what they look like. All right. Uh, yeah, so we can't get them over here. They were marked, though, but now they're not marked anymore, so now I'm going to try and find out where they are. <clears throat> they were marked. They're not marked no more. Let's go ahead and make some water. Inventory. Drink the water. Eat the food. And you don't get a lot of food for any of this stuff. Like, there's like 13 food for like a... That was a pretty big animal. Also, I remember water was going to be an issue. You want to make a beeline for the, like, water collector, but I don't remember how to do it, so. <laughs> All right, we need to get some of those wide leaves. So right here is the area I was getting the flowers, and the wide leaves are right here. So we're just going to take all of these, because I want them starting to respawn sooner rather than later. Oops. F and spacebar. All right. Let's make the uh, bandage. Can we make the bandage in our inventory? I think we can. Uh, no, you need campfire. I need campfire to make a bandage? That's kind of weird. It's just a bandage, right? Here are the flowers, by the way, in case you're wondering. Oh, 12 days for the flowers. That's not bad. So let's go ahead and cook us up a bandage. And see what's next. Craft a mapping charcoal. Okay, I could do that. Mapping charcoal. Um, I thought it was at the top, you know, I think it was under tools, right? Yeah, there it is. Mapping charcoal. So, campfire. Map it. Mapping charcoal. Okay, cool. You need that to drop your map. Find the cartographer tree. Okay. I will find the cartographer tree. Let's pick some stuff up here. Drop some stuff off. Do a little bit of organizing. I don't know if stuff... Uh, drop. F blueprints drop. Do I have to actually hit the drop button? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep everything else with me. I don't need these, probably. Um, I am going to need that. I might need the sticks. I don't need the chamomile. Chamomile. I mean, I might need it eventually, but can I make boxes? I don't know. Maybe, but not right now. All right, cool. Uh, what else? Let's grab these. I need to eat and drink as much as I can. Got it. And we've got a little cutscene here. Yep, got it. There's the letter. Pause it if you want to read it. And... Alright, so I guess that's the next place I have to check out. Which I won't be doing today, obviously, but... Okay, cool. Alright, so now we need to eat and drink as much as we can. Let's go ahead and do that. And... 
do that. Looks like I might want to sleep a little bit too. Eat, drink. We need more. All right, there's more out here. Let's uh, let's get filled up on everything. Uh, no, not that. Not that. Right here. Uh, chance of injury. I don't like that, but yep, I just hurt myself. Uh, you can get injured from crafting, repairing, gathering your chance. To, okay, well, I'll just uh, grab these. Nope. You know what? That should be good enough for now. Let's see what's with this injury. Stomach ache, natural recovery, minor cut. All right. Chance of recovery is pretty good. Okay, good. Um, I could take some medicine for it, though, so why not? And now let's take a look. Wounded treatment. Okay, cool. So then it'll be gone pretty soon. All right, so we need to go to the cartography table or cartography tree. I am going to sleep for... Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm actually glad it's raining out. It will make me cold. Ugh, I gotta go this way. But there's, um, there's scorpions this way. This way's a quicker way to go, much quicker. But the scorpions are gonna be a problem. And I don't have a torch and I really don't want to take time to make one. Take that. We're just gonna go a little bit slow here. I know it's a little dark for you guys. But it won't be dark for long, not once I get out of here. Gotta keep a lookout on the ground. Boy, this, what does it make for a torch? Maybe, maybe I should make a torch. Torch. Primitive torch. Oh, that's it? Okay. Is that, like, gonna light up, or do I have to, like, light it up somehow? Ignite. Um, oh, okay. Oh, um, okay, that's not bad. Alright, so there's the scorpions. We're gonna kind of run away from them, because I... I don't think I could take out my spear. I, I might be able to, but I'm not going to try right now. Yep, there we go. Got scorpions on me. Two damage. They're a little bit rougher than I remember. Can I take my spear out? Oh, I can. So I can't have my spear out while I'm running through the... Um, while I have the, the torch out. Okay, I'll have to remember that next time. That's not bad. Alright, let's get to this cartographer table. And I will be... I'm not going to be using my good axe right now. I think I could probably do combat without it. I want to save it for things that are going to be tougher down the line. Um, yeah, so the, the scorpions seem to just do a couple points of damage to you. Alright, what is that? Camera meal? Yes, don't need more of that. So there's the cartography tree. And it's going to want me to find a rope, but I already found the rope, which is awesome. Climb the cartography tree. All right, so if you don't find the rope, then it's not going to matter. I don't know how to climb it, though. There we go. Now, this is the tough part, because last time I remember, like, climbing this thing was really, really scary. Because <laughs> it's incredibly easy to fall off of, but... Okay. All right, we are up here. Still kind of weird. Um, okay. Okay. Draw a resource map. Um, what? <laughs> oh, the great view. Press M. Mapping. Here you go. Now you need the, um, you need to, the mapping range is this. The duration is this. It takes mapping charcoal. Let's do it. And there we go. Now the map is opened up. All right. And you can see, like, we've got, like, all kinds of stuff around. It's the camera meal over here is where, our, is where we were living. Where we are living. At least I think that's the case. And yeah, this is pretty awesome. Tutorial completed. Now you can follow the story and ex explore the world on your own. Alright. First things first. Let's see if we can get down this in one piece. Alright. I'm pressing W. Like, moving forward. That's how I'm getting down. There's going to be more cartography trees as well. Alright, let's see if we can get back to, uh, back to base. Being wet is not a good thing. Uh, what is that? It's more chamomile. I mean, I want chamomile, but, like, I kind of want to get inside. Being wet is not good. I think the next thing we're going to want to do, and it's going to be next episode, is we want to make ourselves some armor and things like that. Chickens. 
but food and drink is going to be a real issue. Um, I know what you're thinking. Cage, you remember how to get food and drink. You just got to do it like this. Yeah, but it's been a long time. I don't remember. I really don't. So, can we get back into the cave like this? I think we can. Yep, here we go. Alright, cool. Now, if we get inside, can we use our torch? Yeah, it definitely went out, it definitely went out because of the rain. Alright. See, we're using up food and water by getting that thing going. And I'm going to kill the scorpions in here. Because it seems a little bit tough to run by them. I think the reason they freak out is because of the torch, maybe. They don't like the light. Possibly. Any tips are more than welcome, guys. In the comments. I'd really appreciate it, because I'm not sure. I mean, I kind of remember, like, wasn't there, like, some kind of, um... Uh, hawk nest or bird nest or something? I could go get food from there? I think I remember that being a thing. But I only half remember this stuff. Dev, you punk asses. Alright, can I get through this now? Oh, two more. And they're running to my base. Can't have that. It's definitely the uh, the lights that's doing it. They don't usually run away from you like that. That's interesting. Kind of makes sense, too. Alright, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here... Please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.